Okay, I think we're live. Yeah, we are. Just gonna. We'll just hang on until we oh. get some viewers. It's just loading the feed. And the sound's working. Good. We just wait until we get some viewers. So we've got 16 up to now. So hi, everyone. So far, we'll wait until we've got enough viewers. So I don't want to have to repeat it. But we will be doing a mixed media project tonight. And this will be given as a gift to somebody. And um, we do have two kits, six of each. And. Um, One's lace and trims, and the other one um, is a wooden spool, but it's a flat spool, so you can hang it up as well, so you can decorate it however you want. So it's an altered spool kit. Everybody's saying hello, and ladies. Yes, hi, everybody. Like I say, we're going to be doing a mixed media project. It's going to be a big project tonight, really. Um and may involve some worse if i feel brave enough to do it i want mine to look elegant but it may look or steampunkish what paint do you use it? I? i'm going to be telling that in a minute i'm just waiting until we get to some more viewers um but we'll have some flowers we've got inks we're going to play around with um but lots of different paints but well, we've got some places coming in for you so we've got people from Denmark. Um, USA, Al Alaska, Alaska. I'm not pronouncing that right to my. It don't matter. It's fine. <laughs> like I said, just keep a few more, and then we'll get going. Because um, I don't want to hang about tonight. This is going to take some doing. Somebody's um, saying, "I love your accent." What kind of project are you going to make? Tonight's going to be a mixed media project and it is, as you can see, I shall show you, it is a altered paint palette. I'm going to alter that paint palette into something you can hang. Okay? And we're going to use lots of different colours. Um, yeah, we're going to use all of these. How's that? I think there's 20 different colours. Um, so I'm just going to show it. Leave that there uh, and we'll do the laces. But that's on the project. that This project will be given away. So um, what we're going to do now is start straight away with the kits. Two kits and the first one um, is this particular kit. Oh, I'm going to have to move that. Sorry, folks. I will have to move that out of the way. So... Just going to shift that down here at the side of me. Hope I don't spill it all. Yeah. We're going to do some of this as well, stenciling. Okay, here we go. We can get on now. Right, the first kit, um, it all comes in this uh, carrier bag. Um, I'm just going to take the bits out because I've had this out twice already just to make sure I've got enough in it. <laughs> but you know what I'm like. You do get 12 pearl stick pins and they're three i think it's two and a half three inches long and then how do they go by ordering this kit for you all you have to do is the same as always right you just order it through collect give your name to collect if you're interested in the kit both kits are 22 pound plus shipping okay but there's heaps in this one so it's £4.45 for UK shipping, and as always, it's £7.80. It's roughly about right, but it is only an estimate, so it could be a pound either side. Right, but this is chocker, this one. So, obviously, you get the bag that this lot will come in. So I'm just going to stand the bag to one side and go through these laces. That's mine, so that's a different one. What I've put in is the pink... Now, am I right way around now, Colette? Uh, is the scallop facing you or me? It's facing, 
it's the right way right so it's a pale pink pastel pink eyelet trim and it is three inches wide so that's the first trim the scallop was facing me that's the right way isn't it uh, we'll see in a minute <laughs> now i'm holding this so that the scallop is facing me so i've got that right facing you but you can see either way i'll show both ways that first and you've got that one then we've got this one which is what i call a peak it's a peak this one's in red but we also have it in the orange Oh, I like that orange really, I like it with black. It looks really nice oh, with black. Yeah. I've put a piece of this in as well. Now, Colette, is that the right way facing you? So you can see it right way. No. Uh, wait a the frilly bit is, is at the bottom of your screen. Facing you or me? Facing me. So it looks like this is the right way. This is the top. Yes. Right. Okay. We're right. So we've got that trim. This is double lead. And this one measures five inches wide. So really nice trim, that one. And it's a pleated uh, chiffon. And we've got this one, which is the frilly. And I'm sure I put that in. And I did. I did. There we go. And you've got that in both those colours. This is a salmon pink and this is a cream. So there in the kit. Uh, we've got, I put a bit of shimmer in it. I love this. It's actually brown with gold shimmer. Like a webbing. So I put that in the kit. Then I put the Goupier trim. This is a chunky one. Good quality. This is the lace and trim bag, yeah? The lace and trim bag, yeah. Uh, then we've got this is genuine vintage lace. How many kits did you say you've got? On I've only got six of each. Then we've got this one, which is an embroidered cotton. It's like a, a nylon, actually, like an embroidered nylon. Beautiful lace, that one. Then we put this one in. Oops. It's like a, not sure what you call that. I know it's a milk cotton. Then we've got the um, inch and a half uh, eyelet in cream. Uh, this one with the stars on it. These are all pastel colours. You've got pastel blue and lemon and pink and mint green. And this one, which can be taken apart, of course. Sorry, that way. And this one I love. It's up easy. It's like an embroidered tool with the rose on and the leaves. The gathered eyelet in cream. This beautiful, beautiful lemon. Look at that. It's just a, a mixed kit. And then this gorgeous coral. It's like a coral colour. I'm going to sneeze, methinks. The leaf one in cream. So you can actually cut that, uh, that up and use in lots of projects. This beautiful, beautiful embroidered um, organza. That's in the one inch flower. Then we've got this gathered one. 
one inch gather in white. I think it's white. It looks white, but it could be cream. My light's not that good. Um, and I've added a piece of this in. It's just gorgeous. Which obviously they can all be cut individually. I mean, I don't know, Colette, can you see that? Have you ever used uh, like a pearl, an oval pearl, and then glue that onto an oval pearl as a decoration, like a button? Oh, they, uh, no, but I can see where you're going. Yeah, right? it, they're gorgeous. Like, that's like the background of a cameo. Yeah. And this in purple glitter. And then we've got that in the pink, and this is the uh, shabby pink. It's gorgeous. The one-inch wide strip. We've got some pearl beading, which I've put in the silver, the red, and the cerise. Cerise pink. Oh, that one's in a small piece of cream. I think the other one must have been white. I can't see with my light. Then I've added this one in, which is gorgeous, but it's been, uh, like a baby blue. Just stunning. Um, the little daisy one obviously can be taken apart. This is all pastel colours, lemons, pinks and whites. The... Uh, Tiny flower can be cut individually. Oops, sorry, I think that's your way. That's the UPA one. The pearl bead, iridescent. Yeah, I think it's a different one, this one. The loop. This is gorgeous. Look at that. That's two inch wide. Then we've got the threading one. That way. So you can thread your ribbon through it. And that looks gorgeous as a trim round a frame. Uh, the three inch uh, pearl, at uh, three inch, three millimeter pearl in cream. Then we've got um, the flat one. This has got the Cerise um, braiding, Chinese braid. Um, the stretch, double-edged uh, crochet one. We've got some newbies. Um, do you want to explain how it works with the email, the name, and where they're from? Right. What you have to do is you have to give Colette your full email so that she, um, she can pass that on to me. I then will email you with an invoice if you choose uh, one of the kits, one or both, whichever you want. Um, you will be given an invoice through PayPal. We only accept PayPal. Yeah. Um, um, they need to let us where they're from. Yeah, we need to know where you're from so that we can calculate the shipping correctly. Overseas, it's £7.80 approximately. And UK, you have to sign for every parcel in the UK. And that's £4.45 on top of the um, price. So in total, it's, um, what do we say it was? Um, £26.45 in total, including shipping and all the fees. Um, for the... Yeah, for both kits. Sorry, I'm miles away. <laughs> and then for the overseas, it totals $40 in total, everything. $40. We did it in dollars as well tonight so that we get it right. This gorgeous um, leafy one, look at that. And each one can be cut individually. And they really colour nicely. You want to use sprays on them. Then we've got the pink, shabby pink. Um, this one, the UPA one, 
and that's like a lavender nice light shade of lavender this one Very delicate trims. Um, the pink daisy. They put in both the pink and the white cord. It's a double cord. And what you can do with this, ladies, if you don't know, if you uh, roll it, you can roll it into shapes. And then you can roll it like that. And then you know, make shape, different shapes with it, and you embroider it onto your, I mean, you can use these as hooks to hook over a button. It's uh, just double cording. So you've got that in pink and in white. The scalloped stretch lace. There's like a rib on that. Um, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trim. I love this one. That's the right way. I'm trying to get it right for you, lot. Like a tassel trim. Isn't that gorgeous? A goupier tassel. Um, then we've got this one, which is a gathered double lead. You've got your frill, and then you've got the organza, and then it looks like, though it isn't, you can't separate this section. Uh, like pink inserts into, looks like a ribbon's been threaded through. And then finally, you've got a nice chunk of this that can be cut apart. Okay. So that's your lacy one and your trim. And like I say, it fills the bag up. It's a nice big bag. See? And someone has just come on, Fee, and um, they, they are understanding you. They must have like a translation on. But when they were speaking, they weren't speaking English. So somebody's just translated it for me. And she, the lady, um, his name is Clara. And I think she's one of the newbies to your channel. And she says, Clara is saying that everything is just beautiful. So everything you make is just beautiful. Right. Just ask Clara, did Clara order something the other week? It, yeah, I don't think it's the same person. Well, I only know of one Clara, that's all. What was the kit she asked for? I don't think it's the same. I think she's a newbie this time. All right, okay. We're actually looking for four ladies that have been invoiced. The only reason why we're saying it is because it might be in the spam box. I don't want them to think that I've not invoiced them for the kits they've requested. So I'm just going to read your names out. Anne Tungate, Sandra Pagan, Clara M. Or Mac, is it? Clara Mac, Sinnery, and Deb Silnoff, or Silsnoff. Not sure how you say your name. I do apologise I'm saying it wrong. But can you four ladies please, please contact me or Colette, uh, because we have invoiced you for your kits that you requested. If you don't want them, I can then pass them on. But um, it may be that you think we've not done it, and we have, and it's gone into your spam box. That's all. Um, so that's that kit anyway. Um, okay, like I say, nice big bag full of goodies. Um, lace and trims. Now, the next one is an altered spool, and it's one of these rather large spools. And it's already got the hole in, so you can actually alter it and decorate it, use it as um, I don't know. I, I, when I look at that, all I see is like a window with the frame at the top and the bottom. So then I can then decorate that. So um, I'm just gonna get everything out. Oops, there we go. What we've added is a nice big piece of this. Um, now, uh, how do you say, it? is it mocha? Mocha. Yeah, mocha. A That's a color like mocha, like coffee, or I would say like um, chocolate. <laughs> So a piece of that satin material. So this is kit two, and this one is the altered spool kit. And we've added a piece of gorgeous lace. 
Now, I have to tell you about this. I don't know if you've seen the video. What I do with this is um, if you put double-sided tape on here and then you lay that over that and it'll stick down onto it and then you completely cover that while it's sticky um, in glitter. And then when you peel that off, cover it again in a different coloured glitter and then tap it and you end up with a two-tone but you'll get that pattern on a that surface and it looks gorgeous and i do have a video showing you how to do that so that's just in case you don't know for any newbies i mean go look at the old ones just put glitter in jennings 644 and it'll come up now this is that super super soft uh webbing so i put this in as well because it's got a beautiful texture it's just gorgeous a nice big piece of that there's plenty here. you can do three of Two or three projects, depending on what you want to do. I've added this in. So each one of those can be cut individually. And they're all pastel colours. Lemons, very, very pale peach, lilacs and pinks. Okay. Then I've put this in. This one is like a milk lace and it takes colour fantastically. But obviously it all can be cut out. Even that bit can be cut out. And then that used somewhere else. Uh, the Nottingham lace. I've given you, these doilies, they just need cutting and stretching. It's just to cut those out. So there's some doilies there if you want as a background. Um, this, like a tassel trim, glittery. I'm going to leave the ribbons till the end. Now this one, it's just these. Um, and the reason why I put them in is because you can take these off of this ribbon. Um, and then what you do is you just stitch all of those together and it makes a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. And you can get one, two, three, five flowers on that at least. Three hearts. These are the cotton hearts. Quite large. Um, three of the small doilies which you can either trim the flower out and use on your project or, you know, keep up this and colour them, the cotton, so they will colour this beautiful, soft, and it is extremely soft lace, gathered lace. It's just gorgeous. Now, I've got a little bag here, and in the bag... Is a selection of um, crystals because you also get a dozen, 12 pins, thick pins. You've got this lace, which again is gorgeous. I'm trying to get it to lay right, that's it, I think. You see that way? Just beautiful um, trim. We have a question. Yeah. Are they full length? No, these are 24 inches long. It is only for a, a spool kit. The hearts that can be cut out individually or used as a trim. The ribbons are full length. The ribbons are 24 inches. Um, apart from this one, which is the feather. Now, this is the ostrich feather. And you can see just how, yeah, it is just gorgeous. And because it's on a ribbon, you just snip out what you want. Oh, uh, um, do you know what you could do with that? Just add it and make your own trim. Yeah. Well, that's what I've used it for. Do anything to it, just add it just keep top. adding your laces and your trims to it. Yeah. Make your own trim. And that is that mocha colour. It's just super, super soft. It's quite expensive trim. Um, we've got a question. Yeah. Um, 
we've had a, a review from the shop. Somebody has just said they ordered from the shop and um, it was Morris the Art and Craft. She said, have my exhibit stored, uh, beautiful feathers, lovely, fantastic cards, and I had a few other bits. Very happy with her order. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. And that's the lady that won last week's uh, yeah. make that I did. It's on its way to you. It won't be long. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out what I was doing with it, but um, it's done. So, gold. A goupier in gold. If this kit is cream, gold, and mocha with one hint of pink. Right, we put the crushed gold um, ribbon in. Silk ribbon. I've put the organza in cream in. Lovely shimmer on that one. I've put the golden cream in. I've put the half inch in the cream. Put the inch in the satin in cream and in the mocha in cream uh, in the uh, satin then i've also used the, i think you call it the, is it gross grain i think that's how you say it yeah. in in yeah. pink yeah, yeah, yeah. and you've also got that these are only 20 these two are only 24 inches long but you've got that in cream you've also got a piece of this which is all three colors cream pink and mocha Reminds me a bit of like a chessboard, but in a ribbon form. Yeah. Um, you've got the gorgeous um, AB Diamante. You get six of these. Six of those. You could add the diamante round and make yeah. yourself uh, your embellishment. Yeah, you, you can. can. Um, your um, beads, three mil. And then you also get, um, there is more to go in this kit. Um, I, I've only got this one here with me. The rest are in the shop at the um, unit. But um, a nice piece of bling. But I am putting some more in. So I think it'll be a six, I know, it's four pieces of bling as well. Flush, like I say, you're getting the 24 uh, pins with all the goodies and the bling chain. That's the AB colour, multicolour. Shannon Morrissey just said, it's okay, anything you make is fantastic and we'll have pride of place in my studio. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> And like I say, you've got your uh, MDF um, spool, large one. Uh, and that is, so like I say, you've got four pieces of bling in total in that kit. So that's the two kits. Now, if you're interested in them, please give your names to Colette and she will then sort that out. Um, if anybody wants a kit that's late coming in, they'll have to look back and then leave the name on this video and Colette will sort that out. She'll let me know if I don't see it myself. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Right, so. Now, what we're going to do, we've got a project. <laughs> have you seen? I have, I have, I have. So I'm going to enjoy doing this one tonight. Because I'm going to alter a paint palette. I haven't done anything. That's a, huh? that's a really good unusual idea. Um, yeah, well, it's not It's not my idea. Eh? Somebody did it about two years ago. I've always wanted to do it. I bought it about two years ago, and it's been sat. So I thought, let's give them a treat tonight, and we'll do one. Now, this is a stencil for those that don't know, because don't forget, we do have newbies that are joining us all the time. And this stencil um, is just the spot. So I'm going to need that out, leave that there. Um, and that's by uh, Signature Stencils, Donna Downey. 
Is that how you say a name, Donna Downey? Yeah, artist Donna Downey. So that's her stencil. And um, I'm just going to pop that to one side. I've decided to do an array of colours. Um, let me just make sure I get this right because we have to make sure these colours are in the right place. That's for that, that's for that. Uh, that's for this, that's for that. Yes, that's that. That's also that, and that's on its joxy. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a mix in my colours because um, I have Lumiere. I'm sure that's how you say it. I'm using the Lumiere Crimson. What? And so these are crimson paints? No, Lumiere. That's what they're called. That's what they're called, Lumiere. So I'll show you that. Oh. And that's the crimson. I'm also using uh, acrylic paints, and these are um, Art Alchemy acrylic paints. And this one is metallic pink blush. Oh, that's a nice color. Yeah. In that same sort, I'm also, well, let's go back. We'll use these first. The Lumiere ones, I've got the um, crimson, the indigo in the blue. And I'm only using the um, Halo Pink Gold in that one. Wow. That's those. And Is there quite a lot of paint then in those pots? Yeah, I'm in the full pots. You get your 50 mil in that one. You get 50 mil in that one and don't say what you get in that. But anyway. Um, so in the um, Art Alchemy acrylic paints, I'm using the pink, the metallic deep waters, the metallic green olive, the uh, magic green gold, the metallic pure, uh, pure sunshine, the metallic dark velvet. Metallic black berry. And then these are all, they're silks. They're called silks, acrylic glaze. Um, and so these. Somebody, somebody, sorry for you to interrupt you. Somebody's just asking, can you use any paint you want? Anything you like. You can use just ordinary acrylic paints. I'm using these because they've got a pearlized effect. That's the effect I'm after tonight. Okay. So, in the silts, we've got acrylic glaze, um, the black ice, sky blue, oyster, pomegranate, pink grapefruit, olive vine, nutmeg, fern, key lime, and emperor's gold. So that's all the ones I'm doing. Now I've got to put them back into colour formation because they have to be in a set. Oops, turn them all back over. There we go. So we'll have all the greens together. Over there, my dear. All the blues over there. That's a blacky blue. That goes with the, that's a white on its own. Pinks and purples there. Golds and Oh, green, that goes there. There. And the red is going to go with the pinks, I think, and the blue over there. So this is what we're going to decorate. I'm going to use some uh, heavy gesso in white to go over that. Then I'm going to be using uh, other products. <coughs> First of all, the heavy gesso white, which is that one. This is by Art Basics. You can just use any white paint. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to be using some heavy carvable modelling paste, which I have piped some. I may use it. I've got some ready in my little tube. I may not. <laughs> You're going to need Somebody two. Asked, will you be selling these paint pots at any time? No. No, but you can get them on eBay. I would shop around for them because they range like these Lumiere paints. 
if that's how you say it, that's how I say it. They can range anything from five pounds to twenty-five pounds. So shop around. They all do. It depends who's selling them, what company's selling them. I wouldn't shop. I wouldn't put it on eBay. Um, I wouldn't go to eBay and, and ask what you want. You know, type it in. I would just type this in the in the bar at the top of the you know your search bar, your general search yeah. bar, and then type in what you want, Lumiere paints. And then it'll come up with lots of different shops, not just on eBay, because you can get them cheaper in other places. Don't rely on eBay for everything. Right, you're going to need two old paintbrushes that you're not going to be wanting to use again. I may need a little bit of lace. I may not. It depends how I get on. Um, I've also got some ink. Now I've got a liquid ink, which is the Cosmic uh, Shimmer Sprays. This is the Ink Spray Mist. And this is the Chestnut. We have this in the store. Um, I've also added some of it to a dish because I'm going to be needing a foam dabber. Right. And I've also got the ink. Um, and this is, I can't see what that says, close to the heart exclusive inks. I don't know why. It's just a, it's just an ink chocolate. Okay. So I might need to use that as well. Got a little bit of water in case I need to use that, which probably I will. And I've also got these hearts. Now I've one heart per colour. So the first thing I'm going to do is to colour these before I do anything else because these are the ones that's going to just set the time. So I've also got a paintbrush at the side of me in some water. And I'm just going to quickly, very quickly, um, just use one pair i'm going to pop it back onto the lid as well i think now some of these haven't been opened in a long while and this is where i'm going to get messed up but hey who cares so each heart is just going to get a lick of paint it is i said it's going to be drawn out a little bit tonight because of the uh, project itself Okay, I'm not bothered about it going on there at all. Somebody's just commented for you. She says, I'm new here. Hi, Fiona. Hello, how are you? Who's that? Do we, have we got a name? Her name is Peggy, and she says she's new. She, I think she's just joined us. She's new to your channel. Well, welcome. Everybody's welcome. Like I say, sorry, but uh, we're just doing a project. And just to explain to the newbies, I always, if I can, make something on the night of live, and I give that away on the night. That's a deep, deep blue. We will be using them again, no doubt, but um, I do need them just for this. I'm just going to pop that on there. Then we're going to go to this one, which is the... Deep waters. Now I do love this colour. Beautiful, beautiful pearlized colour. I used to know a girl in school who wore this kind of uh, colour on the nails all the time. She won't wear any other colour. It is a nice blue, though. I don't know about wearing it all the time. <laughs> it's actually never had it off her hands. The nail. They don't take long to dry. They all dry within a few minutes. It's just uh, time consuming, that's all, unfortunately. But it has to be done. I was going to do it up front, and then I thought, well, then if I do that, ooh. Somebody just said, I love making mixed media projects. That was Lorna Stacey. Oh, Lorna, yeah. I do as well, Lorna. And I like doing this type of mixed media because you never know what it's going to end up like. Although I've got a picture in my head, it doesn't mean to say it'll end up like that. We shall try. Oh. There we go. 
It's where I should have Julie sat here doing this. <laughs> I thought she'd have been down tonight. Did you see your grandson today, Fee? Oh, I had a visit from my granddaughter and grandson to tonight, this afternoon. My word, is she comical? Oh, do you know it's like talking to a little old lady though? She's she's very very with it. Oh my days! And she she made me laugh because I made her a drink. She I said to her, "Mum, do you want a cup of tea?" And she goes, "Yes, please." I went, "No, your mum." <laughs> <laughs> she went, "Me want a cup of tea." But what I'd done, I'd seen her outside. You know, because you could hear her. She was shouting when she got yes. to the, around the corner, and she, I could hear her going, "Nana, Nana, I'm here." Because yesterday she come with her dad. Yeah, and her dad said to her, um, when it was time to go, she didn't want to go home. So her dad said to her, no, come on, you've got to go, Bobby Joe. She went, no, me stay with Nana, me stay Nana's. And I went, look, why don't you come with your mummy tomorrow? Because I knew she was coming. So she went, tomorrow? I went, yeah, come with your mummy tomorrow. Anyway, so she's um, she went, okay, I'll come tomorrow. So of course... She really did come, and she you could hear her down the street, and you could hear her shouting, Nana, I'm here, I'm here. I'm thinking, bloody hell. <laughs> so, I course, I went to the door and let her in. She goes, Nana, are you, I'm here. I said I'd come, I said I'd come. <laughs> She's so funny, though. She's hey? She's not that old to have sort of that kind of She was two in February. Two in February. But, like I say, when I was making a mum a drink, and I went, um, yeah. she went, she'd have one. So I said, why, do you want a cup of tea, Bobby Joe? So she went, yes, please. So I went, right, okay, Bobby. So I made her a cup of tea. I said, you've got to sit down now, and you've got to stay seated till you've finished it. Don't be walking about. And hold it two hands. And she looked at me, and she went, one. I went, two. She wanted to hold it with one hand. I went two. She ain't daft, you know. She knows exactly what she's doing. That might need going that over again. It. That one. Anyway, so. Says, two. That's gone so fast. Yeah, I know. She we got another one, haven't we? Because he's he's a month old now. Anyway, so afterwards, I said, "Do you want to see the birds?" So what I did, I moved my plants out the kitchen window. Right. And uh, I sat her in the window while she watched the birds because I didn't want her outside in them. And she was watching them for a while. And then all of a sudden she went, oh, me not like, me not like, they after me, they after me. Well, they're not after you at all. It, well, I took me ages to convince her they weren't after her because they were flying past window to get food. You know, to go on the little perch things. Yeah. Anyway. Then we, um, she got her mum's lipstick out of her bag, one of them tube things with a twizzle thing. And she unscrewed it, and she's there. I said, do you want a mirror to put that on, Bobby Joe? She went, yes, yes, please. So I went and got her a mirror, and she sat there for ages doing her lips. I'll tell you what, she was poking her lips out and everything, you know, and she's doing duck face to get her lips done. I'm thinking, oh, my oh God. My I went, Donna went, she does it all the time. So I gave her one that I had that I never used, a little pink one. And it was yeah. so funny watching. And then I said, would you like another drink? Because she'd been here a while. And she went, yes, please. I said, what do you want? Orange. And I had that, you know, orange. It's like um, orange squash. But it's it's got the bits oh, yeah. in it. Smoothie. Right. I think they call them a smoothie. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... I gave her that, and I only put a tiny bit in the glass because I don't want to poop in here. <laughs> and she got that, though. And she's there, and she tasted it, and she went, no, oh, not like, not like. So I said, oh, well, Nana will drink it then. So she looked at me, and she went, no. And she grabbed the glass, and she started drinking it well. She woofed it right down. I said, I thought you didn't like it. She goes, oh, nice. It nice. More, Nana. So I gave her a little bit more. And um, then, you know, a box of cereals that you, they're like little people. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't have, we don't have, give them sweets. We don't, they don't have sweets. So we give them like, you know, crispy things like that. I know what you mean. So I she sat eating them. 
And then um, afterwards, when I would finish talking to her mum, I says, would you like an ice cream now, Bobby? And she went, ooh, ice lolly. So I went, yeah, go on, I'll give you an ice lolly. So I give her an oh, ice lolly. But oh, bless her. You, really, you can't take your eyes off her, though. Because she's, she's just inquisitive. Somebody's just said, I just love little kids and what they say. They're so funny. I have three great nephews from the ages eight, six, and one. Yeah, the kids are great. His parents sometimes are not like. <laughs> um, somebody, uh, Peggy, who was new to your channel, said, Can run ribbon through that one? I don't understand what she means, do you? But, no. Um, and somebody else, um, they've translated this in English so we can understand them, said, hello, I always look at your direct videos and I love what you do, but shame I do not understand English. She's always like watching your videos. Well, you can keep watching because it's easy that way. You can just see. I'm a visual learner, so it doesn't matter what language people speak in, as long as I can see what they're doing. Oops, that was uh, upside down. But welcome, welcome everybody. Sorry about this taking a bit of a time. Um, That's why I was yakking to you while you were painting. I know, it's... Uh, awesome. But she did little um, Aaron to the doctors today. He's got a bit of a weepy eye. Aww. It's not conjunctivitis or not like that. It's just a bit weepy. Weepy. Yeah. But, oh, my God, he's growing fast. Would it be like any hay fever or anything like that? No, I don't it's think so. Bad. No. It's just weepy. How heavy is he now, Fix? He's a month, month old. I don't know. She needs to, I think she's uh, waiting to go get him weighed. But um, he's sleeping better. He's drinking four ounces. I know. Oh, wow. yes. Time's like flying that. by. Isn't it? Time's flying by. A month yes. old already. Yeah. It, only, it only seems like yesterday he was born. It only seems like yesterday that Bobby Joe was born. I know. I remember you putting the pictures up of that. Bobby Joe. It just... It I don't know where time's going. It's going really fast. Yeah. So, I mean, what did they start? She's in play school now. She loves play school. She loves being with other kids. Yeah. Absolutely loves it. You can sort of see her on the stage of nativity and stuff like that. Can't you? She'll, be sort of <laughs> she'll be telling, she'll be stood on, she'll be the narrator. <laughs> Lines up by yeah, she'd be the one telling other people what to do. <laughs> the thing is, it's like Donna says, because I was saying to Donna tonight, I went, you know, yeah. she's her speech is fantastic for her age. You know, the, but it's the, it's not just the speech, because some words you find difficult, but it's her understanding yeah. of speech. But she picks things up really quick. So dead, dead easy, else. dead easy. And it's like I said, but Donna says she talks to her all the time like she's a grown-up. And that's, you know, obviously she knows she's a kid, but that's what yeah, happens. Absolutely. They learn much quicker and they understand yeah. more. Yeah. You know, some people just treat them as kids. thing is if she's going to be that inquisitive and that talkative why not speak to her do you know what i mean well it just proves why you can exactly it proves you can because when we worked in the school and that and then um, you know you're looking at kids that uh, still can't speak when they're four and five well cats that they're not spent time with yeah then you've got the likes of her that's uh, some, some kids who don't even know their colors or anything like that yeah which is unfortunate. To me, they should know all that before they even go to school. Donna 
does put a lot of time in with the, the her children then. Yeah, she does. They all do. The kids to do, you know, the girls. Yeah, I know you say it. They put a lot of time in with the girl, uh, with the younger ones. But things are explained to them. If something's hot, they'll say why it's hot. They don't just say it's hot. Don't touch. They'll explain why it's hot. And they'll explain what will happen. Yeah, yeah. So they're yeah. understanding constantly of everything that they're doing. Oh, wow. It's the best way to teach them. Somebody's, somebody's just put, good evening. I would watch the replay tomorrow. Good evening to all from France. Oh, good evening. Um, somebody says, it could be a blocked tear duct. My niece was like that when she was born. Yeah, they said something about it being a little bit of a blockage. I'm sure it'll be put right, whatever it is. They've given us some cream, but yeah. just to make sure it's not conjunctivitis, yeah, they've got to wait five days. Because it keeps coming and going. But well, it keeps coming and going, so I doubt if it is. I think it would come and go like that if it was conjunctivitis. I think no, you get that and that. I was just thinking of a pollen in the air because it's we've had so high high weather. It's yeah. So hot, but it's been like the pollen's been in the air. Even I was smelling it when they were cutting the grass. The Quite day. possible. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can see you now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, I've got this thing upside down. Oh, it's a bit you. Because it's um, charging as well while we're filming. Uh, right. I charged it earlier, but when I came upstairs, it was still 40 odd percent. They look really pretty now. I can see the colour. I've been watching them, but just doing it. They look really pretty, those hearts, B. Well, they've got to have another coat when they're on. That's why I'm yeah. keeping them on top of the pot. So I don't get the colours wrong. The shine on them. Is that the paint? Yes. It's really shine. Pearlised. Mm. That was the oyster one. Uh, one more to do. I don't need to do that one. And then we can get on somebody, with this. Somebody said, children go up way too fast. I do somebody today. Says, everything is just stunning. I love everything you have and do. Oh, thank you. That's our new beat. Well, don't forget, ladies, if you're interested in the kits, uh, you can look back on it on the video because this does get recorded. Um, they are twenty pound kits, tw uh, twenty two pound kits, sorry, and that's in yeah. without the shipping. Um, there's two kits left of the lace and trim bag and there's five kits left of the spool kit so the second kit oh come on lady this spool kit. kit that's worth every penny there's loads in there i couldn't get over that the, how big the actual spool was yeah i'm yeah i didn't go and give the little and i give the big one yeah. right so now we've got this and what i have to do is to give it some heavy gesso oh <laughs> Give it a good shake. Yeah, or Gesso, as um, Colette calls it. Anybody who hasn't been to Colette's website, that is uh, Colette Garland. And it's, uh, don't tell me because I know what it is. Oh, I was just saying what your name was Colette Garland at Country Creations, Creations with a K. Oh, look at you. I like saying that. You remember every time. Fair play. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, so all I'm going to do now is just completely cover this with some gesso. We'll seal the wood. Uh, can this be seen on screen or do I have to move this back a bit? Can all be seeing what you're doing on screen, yes. Good. Just tell me if I go out of shot because I'm trying not to. Okay, I will do. Now, if you didn't have any gesso, you can just use acrylic paint, a white acrylic paint. It doesn't matter. 
that's what I do use yeah. because I haven't got any guess so as I keep calling it <laughs> <laughs> and I keep using white acrylic paint no you just use white acrylic paint you can water I don't think people know that not everybody does but you can water acrylic pa paints down yeah so I always keep a tub of water at the side of me and as I'm using it I just water it down but I wouldn't water this down because you do need it to seal the wood and I'm not fussed about the edges at the moment so I'm not sure what I'm going to do somebody says I finally get to see your live show great job V <laughs> thank you for joining please egg's gonna get big tonight she won't be able to fit through the door oh shut up you don't you start <laughs> listen you can't get a big head when you're doing stuff are you sure you're positive because i met that many <laughs> mistakes <laughs> and i don't have a big head anyway me not have a big head. Who said that? Whoever said that, I'm told they, they must be lying, <laughs> Shut up in your face. Right, I'm just going to dry this off and I'm going to give it another coat. Now I'm using the Heat It Up Craft Tool. This is by Ranger. I bought mine at Samuel Taylor's. They were expensive originally when I had the white one. But these black ones seem to have like half priced really. I think this was only twelve pound odd. Unless it was a sale they had. Push your, push your palette towards me, Fee. Yeah. I'm trying not to burn my paint pots. Oh, that's what it is. Yes. You don't want to melt them, do I? Mm. I'll do this bit first and then I'll spin it round. Sides, yeah? No, and you lot can if you're doing one of these. You lot can paint both sides. Why would I want to paint the back when you won't see it? Just put a piece of felt over it. Felt over it. Piece of felt will do fine. Right, let's go back to getting this done. Like I say, I'm only putting a um, a second coat on just because I like a double layer. It seems quite thick, that... Um, it's, yeah, it's called heavy gesso. It's... <laughs> you, <laughs> oh, gesso, as you say it. That's what I like about it, because it is quite thick. You all right, lady? Yeah, I'm all right, fine. Right? I thought you wanted to... <laughs> She's sat there rocking a bit, and I'm thinking, I wonder if she wants to go... Go to the toilet if you want to go to the <laughs> Oh, an update for last week. I never saw that chewing gum again. Uh, see? Don't know what happened to it. Oh, that was funny, that, though, wasn't it, last week? For anybody who doesn't know, not that we want to talk about bums again. But I swallowed my chewing gum last week. And I had to ask a rather personal question. Well, she was going to have a very stringy situation. With <laughs> <me>. <laughs> oh, guess what my daughter's lost? Um, no, she hasn't lost it. Guess what she got wet? Um, a hand? No, what's the one thing she keeps doing? Oh, I didn't hear you, sorry. Yeah, she's. this is a fourth or fifth foam. Yeah, she's now got it wet and ruined it, so she's having to get, get another one sent out. So I'm tacking one with me, and I'm buying a one when I get there. <laughs> Believe it. She's lethal with phones. Oh, I don't know, she, she's been travelling, what, six months now? But, yeah, it'll be six months. Can you believe it? That's gone quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. More than quick, love. Where's the time going? I have no idea. It's just flying past and I'm, it's scary. Right, I'm just going to turn this back on. So we've done a double layer of gesso. 
like I say, you could use um, normal uh, children's paints. It doesn't matter as long as you cover your seal in the wood, basically. Oh, nearly melted me spots. So, uh, somebody's just joined us and she said, hello all. Hi, hello, everyone. For the project. Says what? Hello all, glad I got you for the project. I'm going to buy you a dear and eat. You what? What? <laughs> You're talking to me? <laughs> you can get them as back savers, you know. What? Oh, can you? You can get air and eight and spec savers. Yes, you what can. is the world coming you to? For your, your uh, yearly check up and you ride, you get a free urinate. Oh, my word. Well, you're always saying you can't see the needle. Well, no, I, well, I can now because I've got needle threaders. <laughs> um, I put the envelope with the needle threaders in, in my handbag. And I can't find the envelope. Well, that's why you need to do a spec saver. Uh, well, yes, yeah, see, shut up, you. <laughs> Picking on me? Oh, my. He says, Glad to help Fiona. Hi for me. This is the new lady, Peggy. Okay. And thank you for her tips on making my projects. I have to go for now, but we'll come back again. Bye for now. All right, see you soon. <laughs> oh, who's that? Right, I'm now using this uh, acrylic medium, which is heavy carvable modelling paste, and it's by Windsor & Newton. I always use their products, always, because I absolutely love them. And I'm just brushing that on because I just want a textured background. And that's all I'm after. Textured background. Oh, hold it down best you can. Somebody says, hello, Fiona. You just mentioned about watering DD. Acrylic Some paint. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's it. Do you want to, I think they, they missed what you said. I just said you can water down acrylic paints. So you just add a bit of water on your um, brush. That's all you do. I'm trying not to get that actually. That's giving it a nice effect, see? Yeah, I don't want much. It's just... So is there a way then you wash, wash them or would you just run it under the tap? Yeah, just run it under the tap. Run it under the tap, it'll be fine. Let me just see, I need to get this in view. Okay. Yeah, that's all I do, run them under the tap. You can get stenciled of all kinds and, you know, sizes and whatever. Yeah. Pattern. I don't know whether you're buying your new shop at the moment, but you've sold some stencils before in the past. I have. We used to have stencils in the shop. But people, I think people go through trends, you know, different trends. You yeah. know, one week they want them, one next week you don't see, well, next month you don't see them for ages. We've got a question for you, Fee. Somebody said, can you ask Fee how Wendy is, please? Right. Yeah, let me read the text because it's easier to read it than it is for me to try and remember. But you can all pop on over to Wendy and uh, say hello. Just let me get rid of this stuff because it's... Uh, right. Okay, where's my phone? There we go. Wendy. There she is. 
Yeah, this was on Wednesday. She said, just checking in, had a pig of the day yesterday, better today, went and had my hair trimmed, had more blood done, hope you're okay in this heat. So she's fine. She's had the hair trimmed, make herself feel a little bit better. I know she had a bad day. And um, we were actually, I didn't get round to chatting with her today. I was waiting because I thought she was going to ring me back yesterday and I, then I've got really busy doing what I'm doing. So I will speak to Wendy at some point over the next couple of days. Um, hopefully she'll be feeling a lot better. Unless she joins us tonight. Well, Wendy might join us tonight. Yeah. Sounds as though she's feeling a bit better, Fee. It does sound like she is. So, right. Now, all I'm going to do with this is just to dry it off. It's just giving it a textured background. Somebody's asking, will watered-down acrylic paint stop my box being sticky? Well, what should you put on it to be sticky in the first place? Water, water, I think what she's trying to ask is, will watered-down acrylic paint, paint as a base uh, be sticky? No, it won't be sticky. So, the only thing that makes your surface sticky is a glue of some some form. Somebody just said, water and acrylic makes it spread easier and also makes it easier to clean. Yes. Water and acrylic. Yeah. That's why I said you can use water with acrylics. Now, I know this doesn't look like anything at the moment, but it'll come to life. Out. Right, the invoices will go out over the weekend, like I did last week. And thank you to everybody who bought last week. But like I say, those um, you can do this sort of thing, exact same sort of thing, on them spools, on the flat spools. Oh, yeah, yes, of course you it doesn't have to be all frilly and, it, you know, put that in your stash and make something different with the spool. Now, I'm going to give you another little tip as well, especially for the newbies. If you use this, which is the tacky glue, and it's the red one, let me just tell you something. Most PVA glues are all the same. They're just different variant in strength. What I do with mine, always use this. I always use this one. I prefer this. Or the book binding glue, which is a pin flare. But if I use this, I'll empty half of this out. And or not quite half. And then I will top it up with water, give it a really good shake. And every time I use it, give it a really good shake. And that is still as strong as what it is when it's thick. Because when you're, a lot of people have a problem when they're gluing paper to a surface. And they use this without watering it down. And then you end up with it bubbling. It soaks the paper and it swells the paper. Right? And even when it dries, it doesn't retract it back into itself. So it doesn't, you know, go flat. But if you water this type of paper, glue down it, and then paint it on with a brush, put your paper on very carefully, smooth it out from the middle outwards, that paper will last 10 times longer than what it would if you just put it on with just the glue with no water in it. Um, do you know, I use tacky glue when it comes to miniatures, but I've never... That's a really good tip for you. I've, never I've always done it. <laughs> and you, you know, your pages, your cardstock and things really does stick tight. But you know what? You can use plain flour and water as a glue. We used to do that when we were in school. So we used plain flour and yes. water. Yes. Yes. A lot of people don't remember. Right. Yeah. Somebody's just said... Um, 
Now you've given me great ideas for that mini canvas I bought off your store. That was Shannon Morrissey. Brilliant. And then somebody else has just come on and said, I bought a box and acrylic paint from the works. Painted it, left it overnight, and in the morning was sticky, so I gave up on it. <laughs> Don't give up. Never give up on anything. Right, I'm just uh, getting a couple of colours that um, I'm going to use. Oh, somebody wants me to ask you a question, Fee. Yeah. Can you ask? Can you ask me um, to add a raffle ticket and one of those blues to my invoice, please, Claire? No worries. I'll note it down as we speak. You have to. Sorry, I'm miles away. I was on the other side trying to collect these sprays. Fee. It's okay, Fee. I answered. <laughs> Right, I'm using these. We did sell these in the shop and we sold out, but uh, they've all gone. This is a blue fern and this is um, Imagine Ink. And I'm using the Spritzing Ink. Um, I'm not sure what the colour is on this one. All I know is I've chosen these colours, which are greens and blues and apple green. And this one, again, which is a Spritzing Ink, and this one is... It hasn't got the colour on it. Not that I, well, I can't see it. It's the water based paint and this sprinky one, which is the um, tangerine. So, to start with, I'm just going to do the tangerine in the middle. Not bothered if it drips on it like that. You've got to hold them up sometimes. Okay. Then, while that's wet, I'm going to use the green. And then while that's sorry, I'm just gonna say push, push the palette towards me a little bit. Yeah, it is. That's it. Oh, come on, don't oh, wow. do this to me. All right, this there is yeah. I have to be careful because I don't want this all over my paint pots. Somebody just said, hi Fiona and Claire, I'm in Canada and every free, everything Fiona makes is always stunning. Um, not everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible sometimes. <laughs> Look, I'm getting yeah, covered in ink. <laughs> right, I'm just going to dry this lot off. Dry it off completely if you can. Sorry? It looks raised. The, the, your palette, is it, does it feel raised? Because it looks raised. I just wondering, does it feel raised? Yes. You mean the dots? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this uh, cloth I've got and take the excess off around the edge. I would normally sit and dry that, but for time base, I'm just going to... Take the excess off to dry this quicker. Somebody's just put them to that, got that sticky box. So, um, Shannon Morrison said maybe it just needed a little longer to dry as it wasn't watered. More thin coats, less thin coats dry in between. What's that? You know that sticky box? Somebody, um, Used white acrylic um, on a sticky box, and she said she'd give up. But yeah. Shannon Morrissey um, is giving a little tip, and she said maybe it just needed a little longer to dry, as it was watered. Maybe more thin coats, less thick coats, and dry in between. You have to some. You, when you're using something like that, you do have to dry it completely. A lot of people don't wait for things to dry, like me. But then, it's you don't have to have to. It depends what you, what you're looking for, what effect you're looking for. I wouldn't have said that paints would have been tacky though. I've never had that problem. Somebody just said it looks like Pac-Man. What you're doing? Oh yeah, Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Right, this is where my bit of fun comes in because it could go totally wrong. Right. Where's my uh, dabber? Now I've got my little dabber, just a foam dabber. And I'm just, this is another ink. I'm going to go around the edge. Yeah, I can see it. All right. Yeah, but I've not finished yet, so don't despair, folk. I think I see what you're doing. And then what I do is I take a clean, dry brush with a long bristle, and we just do this. While it's wet, it'll go in. Might need to. No, I didn't see that. Ah, you see. You might just need to wet it again and go back in and drag it. Is that paintbrush wet or is it damp? It's a dry brush. Ah, right. Well, it's blooming wet now. <laughs> <laughs> it's blooming wet now, Colette. <laughs> and you just you just do it while it's uh, wet. Drag it in. You don't want to overdo it. That's funny, that is. What? What well, I just said about the <laughs> paintbrush. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's, it was a dry brush. I start with a dry brush. You're giving it depth, Faith. Yeah. Okay, now, see. People probably won't have the same taste as me, but I actually love that. And now what I've got to do, <laughs> got to try and do, pop that out of the way. So I'm just put back to the lash. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we get another paintbrush now. Yeah, what did I do with them? Yeah, I need to go. No, do you know what? I actually do like that. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to dry that. And then I'm going to darken the edges even more. Those hearts on there are shimmering. I can see the hearts on top of the pink box. Yeah, when, I've done, when I put them on, I'll actually put them on a little bit more. Uh, you know, colour them a little bit more. But I need yeah. to keep them on the right pot. To me, it's like an explosion. Yeah, I'm going to say you've given it next. Yeah. It's sort of like, yeah, you've given it No pink. Yeah. Oh, I got something to tell you for you. Well, can I just get me colour? I just need to get me colour. Go on then. Sorry. Might need to go a little bit darker. Two clicks of it. Oh, where's my dark colour? Sorry, folks. Somebody's just put, I just read a few comments out. Somebody just put, got a new quick cutting machine. So want to go play, but to be honest, I'd rather be here. Oh, thank you so much. Right, what I'm going to do is, I've just got this, which is Distress Inks. For those that don't know, these are the uh, Rangers, Tim Holtz Distress Inks. And I'm using the Walnut Stain, and I'm just going to go on the edge. Right round the edge, like that. Thank you. 
you probably can't see it, but it is colouring it more. Yeah. Yeah, we can. So that's the walnut stain, but then I'm also going to use the black. Now I'm going to be careful with this. Somebody else has just put it's oh, Shanna Morris has just put it's bringing up the dots. Yeah. But um, I've not finished with it yet. Somebody's just put tell me you have to have fun doing Pac-Man and then I will watch later. I have to go because I'm taking my mother out to eat. Okie dokie. Oh, happy birthday. And anybody else who's got a birthday? Okie dokie, I think that'll do that. Looks like a peacock's <laughs> It does, doesn't it? Yeah, plume. Yeah. Right, all I'm doing is I've got a, the same brush that I did that with, the long strokes with. I'm just having, yeah. like, damp. And I'm just going to go over it again. Just wet the brush and then brush it onto the side. See the green? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I can. I can see the green. That green underneath is coming through. So you wet your brush, wipe it on the edge, and then just brush it again. And it just picks up more of the colour that's underneath the darkness. I got some news for Yes, yeah, sorry, go on. I bought an embossing um, gun. Did you know? Yeah, apparently I'm being dressed with a blowtorch. <laughs> well, we know you are. You don't have to tell us, we know you are. <laughs> now, all I'm going to do now is just to dry this off completely. Oh, somebody's just put my daughter's Andrew's birthdays on Sunday. She's the one who made the friendship bracelets for your grandchildren. Oh, lovely. And they love them. Now you can continue doing this and add in different colours. But I'm not going to. I like the colour it is. Julie back, oh, Julie back off our holidays, isn't I just want, I need to sort the middle out. A bit orange. A bit richer colour. I can say, ladies, if you want to go buy those kits, they are available. Oh, and please. Yes, yes. Huh? What was you going to say? And I was going to say, can the people please pass the word around? This is not a totally paid channel. People are like thinking, oh, they're not coming on. They're not going to watch videos because it's a paid channel. It's not. There's the odd video. I have 5,000 videos. I've put, I've put six videos out there that are paid. That's all. Plus, I do have a paid channel. But you don't have to yeah. go there and subscribe to it. 
So please pass the word around because I know I got emailed the other day saying, um, I'm really, really sorry that I won't be watching your videos anymore. And I went, well, why not? Because, and it's like they said, because it's a paid channel. I said, it's not. I've got a separate paid channel. And there's six videos between 5,000 videos that's paid for on this channel. That's it. Yeah. So people are getting it wrong. Pass it around. I'm still here. I'm still doing free videos. They're still not getting it. Now, I'm beginning to like that a little bit more and it's time now I think to start adding my um, I'm just going to move those out of the way my hearts so let's have a look see what we've got uh, yellows they're green I think the white can go with that one they're blues that's green purples and pinks and a red. I think we'll put that with that. Okay. Now I've got to mark out the exact amount I need. Uh, five. Oh, sorry. There's a brown one. Where, where, where's that going to go? I think we'll put that with this one. So that's five, ten, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 in total. So we're going to have one there, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bloody hell. <laughs> hey, Fee, you got that right. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm going to start on this side and we're going to start putting the oyster on. Now all I'm doing is I'm going to glue this on with my hot glue. And for those new to your channel, what type of glue do you use in your glue gun thing? I use uh, the milky white ones. Milky white, that's what I use. Now, I'm going to go on to the lemon one. And they don't have to, I'm going to point them all inwards, but they don't all have to be perfect. And I'm going to go on to the gold. Uh, then the orangey colour. Somebody's just joined us, Fee. Hello, whoever you are. And then we're going to put the red one on. Yeah, they don't have to be exact. I'm not fussed to be. I'm going to have some flowers on. Now, I need to get the lightest to the darkest. Of the pinks and plums. I'll do that one. Okay. Somebody just said um, that they're going to watch the whole video back. But I was just saying to them that you, you were selling two kits right at the start of the video when you be. Yeah, there's two kits at the beginning one lace and trim. And the other one is a wooden spool, which is, let me just show you in case you've just joined us. That's the one with the wooden spool. It's a flat one. You could do exact same sort of thing as you, I'm doing here with this one. And lots and lots of laces and trims in there. Plus stick pins, plus bling and whatever. 
Okay, I'm going to have to turn this around, otherwise. Yeah, look. Oh, I like that. I'm going to do oh, wow. the, yeah, the oyster. Then the lime green. Somebody's just a stunning. Well, we'll see. <laughs> It's just a different project, but so easy to do. There's two kits left of the lace and trim bag. And then there's five kits left of the spool bag. Okay, dokie. Well, the spool one's a really groovy one to do. Because you could do something like this and then put the rest of the laces in your stash. And have a go at something like this. I think I've missed one. Have I? Is it still on your pot? Yeah, it's on my pot, so I've missed one, but I'll put it here. It doesn't matter, it's fine. So there's the 20 colours. Okay. Yeah, we'll just pop that there. Like that, with all the shades. I like that. I think that's really pretty. That is pretty, Fee. Okay. Now... I've got to do the flowers. I've got some mixed flowers, some nice roses, some, um, and then I've got some of these paper flowers. We sell these in the store. And I'm just going to take the heads off. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to glue them straight on. Now I think I need another glue stick. We've got a question, V. It says, where the hearts punched out from paper? Oh, that, no, they're wooden hearts. They were wooden hearts, and I bought them in a pack of wooden hearts. There. And you're going to say, oh, why are you doing that, Fee? Oh, they're going to get coloured. Hmm. We're going to colour these. I'm going to enjoy doing them. Just get these. I'm just going to put a few berries um, on it. I must get these back in stock because we sold dozens of these and they were great. And I use them all the time. These are like these little beaded berries. So I'm just going to pop some in there like that. Again, like that. Pop those in there. And then I'm going to, yeah, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray these and I'm going to match them in with, I want, I think we'll do the orangey colour to start with. I'm going to have to change the way I've got this. Oh, see, it's... See, the thing is, the spool in one of the kits, you could do exactly like what you're doing on that spool. Yeah, I'm just going to dab that off quickly. They don't want to colour that anymore. So it's just around there, that's all. 
I'm going to take and put that back in there. Just dry that off really quickly. Did you watch your full Monty last week? I did. I enjoyed it. I'll tell you what I have found interesting. Um, oh, my battery's low. Hang on. Oh, don't close off now. G, 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 G. Why is it not working? Oh, where am I? Where, oh, because I'm not plugged in, you nana. Oh, wait a minute. It needs the, the battery on the tablet, is it? Yeah, but why ain't it plugged in? He needs plugging in the back. Hang on, sorry, folks. Where's me all? <laughs> I've got to find a hole for it. Now my screen's gone dead. I'll be back with you shortly. Now, wait a minute. One of these isn't working, which is that one. I don't know which I'm turning off. The camera's just gone off. Has it? Yeah, on, on your computer. Right. Oh, my battery. Hang on a minute. Here we are. You'll be back in a minute, folks. Right, we're back on there, but not the battery. Um. That's okay. It's just you can't, yeah, it's gone off again because I've knocked it. Sorry, folks. I've got to find out where all these leads go to. Here, I can take that one out. That'll do. Why can't we have cordless things? There, I think we're back on. I think we're back on. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you're back on, Faith. Right. Please just put hold tight, everyone. She'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it's just me being silly. Just going to get that edge off. Uh, there's like um, a watermark when I, uh, the last lot of paint went spray. I don't want that. Now I can dry that off again. Yeah, just you've got to stay for the end of this because uh, I haven't finished with it yet. So what you were saying was you've, you've recently gone into a TV program, is that what you were saying? Oh, no, what I was saying was, you know um, EastEnders? Oh, yeah. You remember Cat and Alfie that used to run the pub? They've got like a spin-off program that I only found out about last night, and they're on uh, Series 1, Episode 6. And they're in oh. Ireland, because you remember, they won all that money, didn't they? And yeah. then they went to... Um, Spain to run a bar, buy a bar there. They have the twins. Well, this is all about her looking for her son in Ireland. So I don't know if anybody's seen it, but it's absolutely brilliant. BBC One. Well, it was on um, last night, but I caught it on Catch Up. No, not last night, night before. So go to Catch Up, you can get it there. And I've watched all five um, episodes today. While I was busy you know doing stuff. Uh, yeah, it's Cat and Alfie in Red Redwater or something like that in Ireland. Really good. Do you know what? I don't actually want to do any more apart from putting a little bit of a little dab of colour on those from the this. Now I must do it without getting soaked. I'm just squeezing. A lot of the excess liquid off it, off my sponge. I did like them and then you send us, to be fair. Pat Yeah, I did. I thought they were great in the pub. And as you can see, I'm just dabbing it onto the roses. Now, because it's orange and brown, oh, I like that. I like that. Now, what you can do with this is you can just spray it with water. Spray those flowers with water and that will soak into each other and make it a little bit more vintage looking. So what I'm going to do now is just to dab that off around the edge because I need this surface dry. I've got some lettering to put in it. Oh, 
Tanisha's um, old man said farm TV show. Somebody else but we we don't know if Pat's okay. What a cliffhanger. Yeah, and you know what? I didn't know that they were doing that as spin-off. It's the first time seen of it. But when I saw the bit last night, because it said after EastEnders it was on, so I went and had a look and checked it out and watched that episode, and I thought, oh, I've got to go back. I got hooked on it straight away. See how it's all blended into them flowers? That's gorgeous. Doesn't look as dark to the eye as it does on screen but now what i've got here is some lettering and what i've done if i remember what i wrote <laughs> remember what i wrote um let me just try and remember art is is and then three little dots, which I'll put there. And it's oh. art oh. is yeah. think out side the box oh i forgot me in oh wow see. so we're gonna I fit well, that's what you say all the time all like the time the art is and the three dots will go there and it's think out side Oops. Think outside. The box. Okay. And I am going to put that on now. So art is think outside the box. So I've just so got to make sure. Art is thinking outside the box. No, not thinking, but think outside the box. Because okay. that's what I say it is. That's what I think art is all about, think outside the box. Always say that I think the box. Yeah, so I'm just going to pop these on. They don't have to be perfectly, you know, in line or. Somebody just put it is for sure. It is because if you can think about something and do it, and it's outside the box to the normal everyday art, that's what art is. It's whatever's in your head. And that's how you should think about art. Whatever's in your head, whatever you do. The thing is, if you if you come up with something, right, mm -hmm. uh, it's unique for one, it's come from you for two, and it's inspiring for three. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter, like I said, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It doesn't matter whether you just stitch a line and show somebody how to do it, whether you um, do a master painting and show somebody how to do it, do is teaching somebody else how to do it, no matter how big or how small. So it doesn't matter what level of crafter you are or anything of the kind. 
the lowest level of crafter can create something and share it but be teaching somebody else at the same time and um, somebody's just put way to go it is lovely thank you very oops i've got a bit of paper on that one are you sticking that down with that yeah just that glue you can use any glue it doesn't matter as long as you can get it to work i think i've got that one upside down actually not that it made any difference actually when it was finished is that you buzzing yeah sorry for you no, it's fine. There's somebody after you. Everybody's after me. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got anything planned for the weekend? No, my son's coming round to do my fencing. Um, I got a lovely phone call off my eldest grandson. Do you know he left school this week? Uh, yeah. Well, what's he going to do now? Is he going to... Oh, he's got a couple of jobs lined up. Oh, fuck. But, um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. He's left school. Jesus. Oh, and I still remember him being in our school. You know, I still remember the, the day he got... It was born like it was yesterday. Time's gone so quick. Yeah. Sorry, folks, if we're not laughing at the moment, but we'll uh, we might do a bit of silliness later. Somebody says so cute, Fee. Always so creative. And somebody else says your thoughts about crafting were so inspiring, especially for new crafters. Oh, thank you. Oh, nearly put that in wrong place. <laughs> Mind you, do that a lot. Thank you so much. I wish I could come up with something. I probably will do at some point. Something nobody else has thought about. Not because... Um, oh, I, it's, oh, feed on this, feed on that. I don't mean that. It's just, I'd like to be able to think of something nobody else has thought about and it be like a light bulb moment. Just to bring something new, um, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. She's just come on and she said, "I was wondering if you build in PayPal for the crochet bundles last Friday." So do you want to explain? Right, Clara, it, I did send you an email. Look, can you just read the back her email to make sure we have it right? Check your spam box. Um, and check anything else because you were billed for it, sweetheart. The the four ladies that were billed and have not received, well, I don't know if they've received it, they need to check the spam boxes and anything else. It's Anton Gate, Sandra Pagan, Clara and Deb Silsnoff. You all need yeah. to check your spam boxes and that because you were all billed for the kits you requested. Clara's saying, because I still haven't received my bill yet and I was just checking. So I've just asked her to send me the email again and we'll try again. Either that or she can send you the e um, an email. She needs to check. She needs to check a box first because it could be in the spam box. Okay, yeah, that's true. It said it went through. Right. Just ask her to check it while we're online. It did go through. Oh, it said it went through. But we need to make sure we've got the right email address. She's just sent it again. Just ask her to check. A spam box, uh, inbox.
Sorry, I'm not sure if anybody can see this. So if those ladies are on tonight, can you please let us know? So that's Deb dot silsnoff at gmail.com clara who's just there uh, answering sandra pagan and antunga you have all been invoiced from last week's i think that was the week before because if you don't want them i'd rather you say or you might not have received or seen your um inbox yet or your um it might be in your spam box the thing is, if you don't want them, we can pass them on to the next ladies that's on the lists. Uh, there's no problem if you change your mind or you can, you know, finances change and whatever. Not a problem at all. There we go. And that's all in gold lettering. So now what I'm going to do is just to go over. Yeah. Just to give it a second coat um, to make sure we've got a nice coating on the hearts. And I'm only going over the ones I think need them. Yeah, because we sent all the invoices out to me Yeah. See, so they don't have to be smooth. I don't actually want them smooth. I'm going to make sure they're like uh, textured. Yeah. Let me have a look at this one. I love the one? way you've done those flowers, Faith. Yeah, they look really nice. I'm just going to give them a, a, a touch of gold on the ends, I think. Somebody just put hello from Australia. It's 5.50 a.m. here on Saturday. Oh, hello. Well, so far, we've not really had a laugh at all. We've just been uh, on a serious project at the moment. But um, I am sorry if you wanted to get a laugh tonight. We'll see what we're doing. Well, we will when she wakes up. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it. What are you going on about? <laughs> She's just checking if I'm listening. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, we have had a bit of a giggle. We have, yeah, but not much. I like my giggles, me. Yeah, uh, oh, the other day was funny. When we were, when, I can't even remember what we were talking about. Was it the string you do and go? Yeah, well, we've said that. We've said that. It was funny, though. I think it was that. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm going to put the paint on quite thickish. Um, and just move the brush. Up and down like that, and it gives it a textured um, feel when it's done. So I'm just going to try and go over most of the ones I've done so far. Oh, I think that should have been that, and that should have been that. Oh, never mind, can't be bothered. We'll put that there. <laughs> Don't matter. Orphan oh, did the wrong one. My light is very poor, unfortunately. It's going on this one anyway. It doesn't matter. So have you been watching your birds recently, Phil? Of course I have. Oh, do you know them? You know the bird balls? And I don't mean the ones on the bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on about the fat balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know which I mean? The fat balls that I feed them, that are full of seed. No, you know what I mean. Well, I ran out of them, and Raymond went and got me some more today. And you could tell that they were, that's what they were after, because they kept flying around that uh, the little things that I drop them in. You know, the um, cage things that that they peck out of. And it, oh my God, when I put them in there today, when he brought them in, I went frigging nuts for them. There were like 50 birds in my yard and all flying around these balls, fat balls. Frightened bloody life, aren't they? But they're, oh, they're so cute, though, and I absolutely love them.
So I'm just raising the texture on um, these. Clara says, yes, I just checked, because she just checked her emails while we were on. Yeah. And she said, still didn't get it. I think I might have been, been spouted wrong. Right, well, if she's given you it right and it yeah. worked, just... All right, so I'm going to send you this email address. Right, just hang on, hang on, on, hang on. If you send her a message back on that, she can answer while we're on. Yeah. Yeah? Just send her a message on that and then she can answer while we're on, so make sure we get it right. And I'll cancel the other one and um, do it again. Right, so I'll send you an email, Clara, while uh, Fee's on, to just check that's the email and then I can send Fee that email address. Yeah. Just got down. I just think that'll be better. And then we'll start thinking about a winner. Yeah, I've written them all down for you. Everybody that's won so far. Mm -hmm. So we won't double up. So we'll yeah, just don't want to do that. I want to be careful we don't double up. I mean, don't forget, some of this might not be to certain people's tastes. If we choose a name and you're not into this kind of craft, um, let us know and we'll pass it on to somebody that is. That's the fairest thing I can say because this is all that's being given away. Um, it's whatever I make on the night. I can't see anybody's comments at the minute. Right, I'm just okay. sending Clara an email. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I've just sent her one so she can respond back. So, um, somebody says, I, um, I did reply to the video about purchase of the doily kit. They must have been spoken for. No, I still have some doily. I can make doily kits up till they come out my ears. Oh. Can I always make another one up? Okay, let's get the green ones. Ugh. Right, I like green one first. It's this one. And olive. So as many people have been watching that Alfie and uh, Cat then, because I've, I don't know what it is. I've just got hooked on it. I find it really, really interesting. Um, not sure. Really. BBC um, one straight after EastEnders. And if you're able to go back on the, your programs on catch up, go and watch it. But you need to watch it from the beginning. And you can watch on catch up all five episodes, six episodes so far. Do you want to explain about ordering here? Somebody's asking about um, the doily kit for the lady. She said that she's new to your channel. So do you want to explain about what does she want uh, me to explain? Eh? Right, okay. So if you want a doily kit, 
and um, if you comment in the live chat with your email address your name and where you're from so we can send out the invoice and the correct post postage please yeah just give send a message on here now to collect she will take your message and she'll take your name we need you where you're from so we can calculate the shipping um uk or overseas and um sorry i'm just i get engrossed in what i'm doing um and we'll invoice you over the weekend if i'll tell you what this is what we need to say if you do not receive an email from me or you can't find it when i've sent it then you need to let me know don't just sit on it you can get my email address anywhere it's here so is that right way around collect oops that way yeah you've turned the plaque the, the around now new yeah, yes the words are Oh, yes, that's the way, wait, wait. So you can contact me. Yeah, you can contact me at fiona.freestylecrafts with an S on the end at gmail.com. If you do not receive your invoice, though you've requested a kit, email me and I'll do it. I will have done it, what you've given me, but if it doesn't work, we need to sort it out. And I'll just sort it out straight away for you. Don't worry that you won't get your kits. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. I've gone through all the colours at the beginning of the video, so you can run back and see that. Nearly to the end, folks. Does anybody want to discuss a topic? We're all open to discussion for topics. <laughs> um, we like to discuss, you know, everyday topics. Anybody want to talk about something? Anybody want to get the ball rolling? I don't care what subject it is. I'll give you my opinion on any. <laughs> uh, what about um, the cladding? They were saying about there's 600 buildings still left for cladding on. Well, all I can say about that is in this day and age, it shouldn't happen. You know, weren't we born with brains? Well, some people were. Some people were. What's in the news today? I don't, apart from this disaster, what's in the news? Oh, now, somebody just said, I'm interested what the English think about the current US president. Um, I might lose all my subscribers if I tell you what I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I actually like him, I like his policies. I know it's uh, people don't like him and people have got their own, but everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I like what he was saying be before he became president because I totally agree. Life, not life, how can you put it? There. What do you think of that, Colette? Can you see that? Absolutely beautiful. Push it towards me a little bit. I have. I'm going to lift it up. Yes, I can. See the texture on the paints? See the texture on the paints? So I've dabbed it on. I'm just going to go around each one like that. 
That's it. You can see it now. How is that for diplomacy? Oh, I don't know. My, somebody says, uh, my family voted for him. You ladies are way too nice. Beautiful as always, be. Listen, let me just say this. Charity begins at home. A country needs to be set up properly within itself before you can help anybody else. Because if you're not right, think of it as your own family. Think of it as your unit that you live in. Think of it as your relatives and your immediate family. If, it, if everybody's kind, considerate, um, helping, you know, helpful, um, there's harmony amongst you all, then that's good. It's got to be good. If there's bickering and, bi you know, bitching and backbiting and all of that, that's not good. So your immediate family, your relatives, and as you get spread out, you know, your cousins and all of that, if everybody is settled and happy and doing what they want to do and getting the jobs they want to get and earning the living they want to earn, then you move outwards more and start helping other people to get on the feet, to start helping other people have a good life. You cannot run a country if you're not settled. That's how I look at it. So charity begins at home. Help begins at home. Finances, you have to be sorted at home. I mean, let's be honest. If your finances are up the swami, which most people are today, how are you going to sort it and live comfortable uh, comfortable, or live uh, as you should, as you could, as you want, if it's not sorted? Think about it logically. I know people think he's a complete and utter ass. I know they do. And he probably has got his faults. But one thing about him, he actually does care about his country. Or the country he lives in and the country is governing and your charity begins right back at home and then work outwards you know your people need jobs your people need homes your people need medical care you, and i'm not being disrespectful to anybody when i say that because we have in this country we've got a lot of asians that live here and a lot of Russians and uh, Czechoslovakians and all of that and a lot of people have been born here as well so they're included they belong to this country and it's so I'm not being biased I'm not being what they call it racist or anything like that no. charity begins at home sort the country out and then help others as somebody says I agree with your theory but I think he is an arse hat <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody to their own. Everybody to their own. At the end of the day, you know, why is he getting stopped from helping and starting to put things right? The other presidents, oh, God, this is what drives me insane. We've got them here, right, these MPs and all these bloody prime ministers, and they go, we say it every week. You know, we're going to do this, vote for us. We're going to do that, vote for us. And we have such short memories, and we go ahead and vote for them. And then they turn around and go, oops, we were only kidding. We're not going to help you at all. I'm going to help my own pocket. Here, there's 20 grand for doing my bird shit out with bloody pigeon loft. Honest, that's what they say. Somebody says, I am of joy. If anyone treats, if anyone... If anyone steals my joy, I will move them from my life. I've helped people all my life, and I was so blessed. Just pray for the leaders. Somebody says, I like Trump, and I am an American. Um, they agree with what you're saying, and says, V, would you, love, would you love me to send you a jar of Vegemite? Vegemite? Egg, yeah. Yeah, they're Vegemite. Yeah, I had that when I was there. Somebody's asking, would you like them to send you a jar of it? They're in um, Australia. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yeah, but don't put arsenic in it. <laughs> <laughs> don't be putting anybody's arsenic in it. Somebody says, I am 
sticking it. Arse hat. Pardon? That's a, I swear they said he arse hat. Arse hat. Arse hat. Arse hat. President Trump is fine. He's a family man and he is humbly done for money financial that many people don't know that about him. He's done for many, he's helped many financial people out, many don't know about that about it. Do you know, it's the same old story, right? How many people know what I am? I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm only saying this because it, I'm using myself as an example. How many people know that I send out regular boxes to people who don't have anything did you know that i did oh you knew it. but i didn't know that you sent it up regular i didn't know you did it on regular i do all I sorts know. i do all you sorts do things like that that are away from videos that you don't want yep. any sort of Praise I don't want recognition or praise for it. it no, I don't. don't do That's why I don't advertise it. I've just said it now because what I'm trying to do is make a point. How many people know? And there's a lot of things I do that nobody knows. Nobody. I mean, because I don't disclose it. And it's nothing underhanded. It's nothing that I shouldn't be doing. I run about helping other people. So, yeah. And people in, uh, like him... They do 10 times, 10 million times more than I do. And nobody takes any notice of that. It's only when he's doing or what they think is bad that, oh, my God, is his name black and blue. You know, why not make it pink and fluffy because of what he does do? Yeah. Somebody says, it's members of Congress. I can't stand. Somebody else says, she could get you to taste it for her collector. <laughs> Get you to test it. <laughs> oh, what did I read earlier on? That I lived with you. I made me giggle. Somebody thought you lived with me. Somebody said I. I'd never get any work done with laugh. No, I'd be. I'd always be in a craft room. She never help to tell. No, you wouldn't. I'd have a lock on door. <laughs> the door would be locked, and it says on it. Keep out, collect Garland, country yeah, creations with a K. That. What? <laughs> and you'd have to read it upside. You'd have to put it upside down for me to read it anyway. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so <laughs> look, do you, shall I colour my lace and put lace on it? Because I've got to put lace somewhere. Look, see, I could do this and put lace on edge underneath. On edge. On he says, I helped Jennifer Hudson, the singer, with her apartment when her family was killed. Yeah, well, that was diabolical, that when her family was killed. Yeah. I mean, both the parents, weren't they? Both got killed, slaughtered. Did they? Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's, it's not just about killings. It's about life. It's about everything. You know what? What I love about people in, in, in countries... Uh, when there's a crisis, how we pull together. And the people that should be there are never there until the people cry out for them. Like, Diana died. How long did it take the royal family to come out? How long yeah. did it take them to say anything? They should have been the first people. She was a member of their family. People on the street, there were people grieving. They're still grieving for her 20 years later. You know what I mean? I know it sounds daft, but it's true. She did a lot of good. And they did. Well, only now, Prince, Prince Harry and William are coming out about how they actually felt about their mother being killed and what they actually went through. Only now they're coming out about it and saying how they actually felt. Because they, it's like mental depression, isn't it? They've got. I yes. absolutely. And you know what? Round of applause for them, too. But, oh, even yes. Kate, for coming out and talking like that. And you know what? Yes. They haven't had the grey suit men stopping them from doing it. And I don't think they could. I don't think they could. No. I think they'll have to speak you know, out. Prince um, William went with the Queen to visit the people from the Tower Block, the victim. Yeah. And this was before the Prime Minister decided to show a face for the victims. Anyway, they went to visit them. And uh, 
they were talking to the victims and one of the things that William said was I understand your helping you you know you've got clothes you've got food you've got everything here that they essentials that they need yeah but what about any aftercare what about any mental health awareness because he said all them people will need psychological help after this yeah and they couldn't answer him because nobody had actually thought of it but this is what i'm saying kudos to those two lads that are I think they're more about them than any other member of that royal family. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I used to like the royal family. But I think they showed themselves for what they really are when that happened with Diana. Sorry. Right, what I'm doing is, um, I forgot to put in the paintbrushes. Now, what I've done is I've split my paintbrushes. Right? I'm going to do it like that, I think. And you just said, I'm still unconvinced that he has the right temperament to hold the position of the most powerful man on the planet. Well, it's more balls than most people have got, I'll tell you that now. And that's what we need, somebody with balls. Sorry. You know, he's willing to do something to help his country. Yeah. I wonder why you were snipping your paintbrushes. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to do it that way, in there, like that. And he says, Lord, true that thing. Well, and the thing is, they don't like it when somebody's going to come in and upset the apple cart. I'm not on about the people, I'm on about the people around them. Like our government, if we had a PM, that a Prime Minister that wanted to, really do something properly and put us all back on track um they'd be frowned upon they'd be yeah. frowned upon somebody says um fair enough Fee, but can he hold back from that big red button well can um what do you call her may can ours she's got the chance of doing it Everybody has. The each country's got that chance of doing that if they wanted to. Somebody's just put nice touch for the paintbrushes. Yeah. So there you go. Sorry, I've forgotten to put them on. And they are um, like proper old ones that I have actually used. I'm not sure that's in the right place, but we'll get it there. Oh, wow. So do you like that? Right, we need a winner. Beautiful. We need a winner. Wonderful. Right, tell you what, only those that like this kind of thing, that are interested in this kind of thing, um, just let Colette know if you would like to win it. Because we don't want to give it to somebody who's not, who hates it, who hates this, you know, sort of thing. If you're interested and you'd like to win this, just say, me, 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 me. Then Colette can pick a winner. We'll give you five minutes to do it. Yeah. So while you're putting me, 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 me. While you're putting me, 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 what are you going to do? I, well, I'm just thinking about um, the question. What do I think? What do we think of him? What do you think of him? Do you like Trump? I, I don't like his, the way he talks, I find him really rude, really rude, I find him very racist as well, mm. but he does get the job done. Whatever that needs to do, he doesn't. But is that is it is that because we're interpreting what he's saying as being racist, or is it is because he's speaking straight? Is you know not pulling any punches and he's just giving it bullseye type of thing. Because look, I'm that sort of person that's I'm a straight talker, I pull no punches, I say what I've got to say, um, and it doesn't go down well with some people. So therefore, they look down on me, or they. Um, they think I'm awful and, and they get offended. And, and the thing is, 
I'm me. I'm entitled to my opinion. And I come across as a straight shooter. I don't piss about. It's yes or no. It's this or that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And people... Yeah. Why does I mean is this why we've got governments like we've got because people won't speak up, won't speak for themselves, won't stand up for themselves, won't stand up for the rights? I don't know, I just think there's a there's a wrong way and a right way of saying things. Well, I certainly aren't gonna turn around and say to taxman, you can take every penny you want out of my purse if you like. Go on, any up and do it now, you little shit. Well, you know. No, because I'm going to turn around and tell a taxman to go piss off and say, that's my hard, hard earned cash, go beat the bush about people with millions in the bank that don't pay tax. Yeah, well, those who pretend they've got, those have got a business who are not registered. Exactly. Go and catch the assholes. Yeah. You know what, Colette? There's a big thing about being straight. Um, and not being, when I say that, I'm on about being straight to the punch type of thing and not being straight to the punch. Although people are frowned on, they get the job done. And that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I just, I, I, I find him, I just find him really racist. Um, like he said something about women being pregnant, about how abortions shouldn't um, be, be a, shouldn't be a right. You shouldn't have a right to abort a baby. Right. I understand. Like I understand where you're coming from, but he ain't the first person that said it. The church was against it. Yeah. Come on, let's be. I mean, I was watching. Yeah, do you watch? Just said, yeah, she just said things like that. Right. Let's just go back a bit. David Stark, if you watch him, he does all the history, right? Going way back in time. And he brings you up to present day. On royalty, maybe, may, um, mostly. Now, the church, way a thousand years ago, the church was the be all and end all. And everybody was run by the church. They had so much power. But deep down, a lot of it was greed. A lot of it was just greed. Do you think that's, are you saying that for all churches or are you saying that for a particular church? No, I'm just going back to what our history is, our own UK history, right, in England. Way back, the church, it was just greedy, a lot of it. They didn't like it. And if you watch David Starkey's programme, you'll see. The noblemen, right? So you've got the king, you've got the church, you've got the noblemen. Right. The noblemen, when the king was a good king and wanted to do things to help his people, his country, the noble people were against it. So what did they do? They either behead the king or they get rid of him or they find some way of... Yes. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The church, of course, the noblemen paid the church. Because in order for him to do that, they kept what they had. Yeah. See what I mean? So long, and it's yeah. the same today. It's the same today. The people who've got millions in the bank don't pay frigging tax, don't do this, don't do that, and the poor people are paying everything. It's no different. Yeah, so what you're saying. Yeah. See what I mean? I just, yeah, I get what you're saying. Looking what you just said, yeah, the church sometimes I've said they, they had a big hoo ha about gay people getting married. Yeah. Because it isn't it isn't part it isn't written in the Bible that a man or a man or a woman and a woman should get married. Yeah, but it's only in the Bible because somebody wrote it. It's the Bible is only there because somebody wrote the Bible. Take that person away that wrote that Bible, right? Who says what you can do? So are you, I'm taking then, religious? No, no. I'm not religious, but I'm not against anybody who is. What I'm saying is, I think in everything we do in life, there is a right and a wrong way to do it. And just because it's a church, it doesn't mean to say that it's right. Yeah. Okay? 
Look at these. That tower went up. All them people got killed. All them people got put in hospital. They were mainly foreigners, right? Yeah, who did not defend TV. Yeah, there were, and I'm not saying anything about them. What I'm saying is it was the ordinary man on the street that was the first out that gave them a home to stay in so that they had something. People with yeah. power, people with money, what did they do? Yeah. Again, it was left to the people to argue with them, to start calling them for them to come out and yeah. do something. Yeah, and the thing is, they only put the cladding on the building because um, to make it look pretty, because where, the build, where that tower was, it's surrounded by rich yeah. streets, rich buildings. Yeah. So in order for yes. uh, poverty to look nice, they put cladding on the building. But that's what I'm saying. It's the same old story. The people with stuff get what they want. The people without have to suffer everything that's going. And it's wrong. It's so yeah. bloody wrong. And in the ancient times, and that's why I say go watch David Starkey, the sort of things they're revealing that his programme is absolutely amazing. And it's not that it's a um, tales. It's written down from history that actually happened. It's things they're finding out from the scrolls and that. You know, and papers and books that were written at the time. The What's his name? David Starkey. He's got a series on. I am. Yeah, I think I've seen his name on TV, but never yeah. watched his programs. Should watch it because it's good, and it's always been the same thing. The church had the power. The nobles paid the church because it kept them in no in their no nobility. You know what I mean? It kept them going. Yeah. And the king was, uh, most kings were just puppet kings. If they really wanted to help the people and have the backing, they were lost straight away because the nobles wouldn't have it. Because that meant that they would have to give something up and they don't want to do that. And that's the same thing today. Somebody says poor people and older people will pay more for health care than the wealthy because of ta tax credits that benefit the wealthy. Do you know what? See, if I was running, if I was running the country, <laughs> healthcare would be free, totally free, and you would get everything you need. Because as you get older, you get your problems. But it would See, be. I know, I know it's different in England, but in Wales, you get free um, healthcare, you get free medicine, you get free um, manage everything. It's free all your medicine. Yeah, but what? But I know. We Me, pay. My yeah. And he has to pay for his medicine. We, yeah, we all have to pay for our uh, prescriptions. But what I'm saying is, when you would retire, right, you were supposed to have worked all your life to pay your dues. You pay your dues all them years you're working. When you retire, then everything should be free. And don't, don't tell me we can't afford to do that. Because if we can pay 365 no. million a week yeah. into that yeah. Brexit thing, whatever you call it, right? Yes. Then we can afford to do that with our elderly. Do you know what? Makes you think where all the money's going. Oh, I forgot. Where, did, where was it going? It was going to different frigging countries. And that's what I said. People need to read up on the um, Rothschilds and go back in history right up to today. And I'm telling you now, they're richer today than they've ever been. Somebody's just put, I'm really sorry. Um, no, I think you'll have to telephone her, Richie. So, Richie's just, Richie Hall, your brother's just come on. Oh, I say, hiya, Richie. Hi. You're all right, love. Hi. Yeah, it's it's scandalous, absolutely scandalous. Somebody's asking, do you sell the paint palette? No, but I can get it in if people are interested. I kind of like that. It's come out quite neat, hasn't it? Beautiful. I don't know where to put a little diamante on each of them. No, that'll be too much because there's a lot of bling with it. This is gold right in this. Somebody said, wanted a discussion about spin doodle. Looks like she's got one. Spin doodle? What do you mean spin doodle? S-K-P doodle. Skate doodle. Somebody's but it's gorgeous and the little hearts. Tell Fiona I didn't have a stroke, Ricky, Richie's just said. 
Oh, yes, he's been to the doctors today because they uh, thought he might have had some mini strokes. Well done, Richard. Yeah, he's been suffering with severe headaches for a few days and that, and they thought he went to the doctors and they said he may have had a, a mini stroke, so they were sending him to the um, hospital today, so he's come back, obviously. Yeah. Oh, Bob, that's yeah. good news. Well, his partner's just recovered from a, well, is recovering from a second stroke. Oh, they're horrible, they are. Yeah, be, yeah you've got to be careful, really careful. Have we got a name oh. for this winner? Oh, sorry, yes. Ozzy Reggie. Ozzy Reggie? Yeah. I'm not making the name up. That's the name. Ozzy <laughs> Reggie, you've now won this. If you want it, it is yours. Please let us know so that we can, if not, we can pass it on to another one. She, um, she did want it, um, but I'll need her email address for you to get the... Yeah, okay. just send collect your email address or send it to me at fiona.freestylecrafts at gmail.com. Don't forget to put the S on the end of crafts. Fiona.freestylecrafts at gmail.com. Um, now, I've got a... Um, how can you put it? I've got... Um, what do you call it when you haven't done something you're supposed to have done? A confession. Oh, I've got a confession. A really bad confession. I've still got the box that I received last week to open. But I'm going to do it this weekend, definitely. So I do apologise. That's to Angie. I think it's Angie. Well, yeah, yeah, I am really, 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 really sorry. Um, but I just haven't had a chance to get around to doing it, but I'm going to. So I do apologise profusely. I ordered some laces and ribbons from Fee, and I have restarted doing baubles and hairbands for my grandchildren. Yeah. Oh, don't forget we've got that one in the shop, you know, that kit, the hair clip. Have? We've got the uh, hair clip in the with a big broad lace. So we've got uh, not lace, big broad ribbon. Um, we've got it in cream and we've got it in pink in the shop. Yeah, we have. And there's lots and lots and lots of uh, kits in the shop. And we don't forget we do the ten pound, the twenty pound, and thirty pound. Somebody's just put uh, congratulations. Um, Ozzy Reggie, although it would have looked great on her cabin one. <laughs> congratulations. Yes, congratulations, Ozzy. I will, if I can. I'm not going, no, I'm not going to uh, thingy me bob, uh, paint the back. I'm not going to cover the back, but what I'm going to do is... Somebody's asking what kit has got the stick pins in. Uh, there you go. I've now signed it. Not often I do that. No. What, what kit have you shown tonight that's got stick pins in, Pete? Both kits have got stick pins in. They've both got a dozen stick pins. Twelve pins each. Okie dokie, Smokey. Do you want to quickly show the kits? Uh, not really, because, well, I'm going to, I'll bring them up onto the desk. I'm just going to move that because I've got loads onto me, on me. I've got paints. I don't want to get paint on them. This is one of the kits. It's like you say, it is one of the big bags, and it is chocker with all different laces. Um, I mean, there's just heaps in there. Okay. There's two left of kit one, so that's the lace and trim mark, and there's three left of kit two. And that's, that's you, what I've just done with this, you could actually do something similar with that because it's flat. 
and it is chip bar, uh, wood chip. No, chip board. Call it chip board. No, MDF. Um, with all the trims, and there's the pins in that as well. A nice kit there. So, um, well, whatever's left will go on the shop unless somebody makes a comment on the video, but I'll give it till Monday. And if there's any left, they'll go on the shop at the same price. Uh, um, somebody's asking, what price is the hair clip kits? Uh, I think, I think they're either four, I can't remember. Were they about four, four fifty, five quid? I can't remember. Between four and six pound. Between, look at me, I'm covered in ink now. I have to go get a wash and clean all of that off. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Have you got everything sorted, my dear? Two ticks. That's my saying, that. How dare you use my saying? <laughs> right. Um, this is where I keep all my um, bottles of stuff. Yes, ladies, thank you very much for joining us. Um, enjoyed it tonight, actually. It's ages since I've done something like that. Uh, I do enjoy doing um, that kind of work, alter that and whatnot. And Aussie Reggie is the um, winner. And well done, Aussie Reggie. You win this. It is actually quite pretty. So it's not just, I like the way the texture's on the um, hearts. Yeah, it is, it's quite pretty. So thank you to everybody for joining us tonight. Um, I think we will try and do another one next week, but I won't be here the week after. I will be away on holiday, but please continue to order. Don't stop, because my staff will still do the parcels. Okay, just so you know, um, I'm away from the 7th to the 15th. But tune in on the YouTube channel and Facebook, because I will be uh, posting every night. I'm taking my computer with me, my laptop. And I will be posting every night. And I'll be um, answering on Facebook for you while you're away. Yes, Colette will be answering on Facebook while I'm away. Um, the other thing what I was going to say was, don't forget, please, the shop description, because I keep getting asked, where's the shop? The um, shop address is in every video that I do. If you go on the recent videos, it's in there. And it's www.jennings-crafts-boutique.zibit.com. Okay? It's in the description box. It's the first one. And um, go and grab some bargains because we put some right bargains up this week. And a lot of the stock from off the old website is back on. And I've put it up um, at really good prices okay so run along and buy it from there Um, you know i always say first come first serve if you miss it we're trying to accommodate and you know everybody once again medea thank you very much for helping thank you very much for creating oh well, you're welcome anytime we've not really had a laugh this week have we too oh, busy. Been a bit. Yeah, been busy. Yeah, I'm content when I'm contemplating. I can't do much. Me neither. I can't type and talk. I lose track. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just going to say one last time for these ladies: uh, Anton Gate, Sandra Pagan, Clara, and Deb. No, Cla Cla 
Clara's already emailed. Oh, Clara's done. Promise. That's fine. And Deb Siltsnoff, if you want your goodies that you requested, uh, we have invoiced you. Go and check out your inbox, your email box, your, um, uh, what do you call it? Sc uh, scam, I was going to say. Spam box. Yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We'll speak to you all soon. Take care. And don't forget, you can watch this back. Bye-bye for now. Bye for now.